and this week I am in Arizona at my grandparents' house visiting them. It is a place that I unaffectionately like to call the surface of the sun and the nosebleed capital of the world, which I have to keep checking for that because I keep getting them every day now. So today I have a review and a demonstration for you. So this company, Gullivan, got in contact with me and they said, Hey Erica, we've seen your reviews on YouTube. We really like what you do and we're wondering, would you like to review our product? It is called a winter skin and I'm like, okay, well, you know, what is it? And they say it is a waterproof skin to put on your phone so you can take your phone in the water. And I'm like, uh, a water, I've never heard of a waterproof skin before. So I was immediately really excited and very interested, especially because this thing lets you keep the same profile on your phone. You can even put your phone in the ca any case that you already have. So I thought that was really cool. And I said, yes, please send it on over. And then I got it and I procrastinated for some time because I was a little bit frightened to put my phone in this thing here, which yes, it's waterproof. So these guys are IPX8 certified for up to six feet. So that means you can use it in the spa, swimming pool. You can go shallow diving if you want to take it to the beach and not worry about your phone getting ruined if you leave it in your pocket, which a lot of people do. So I would love to show this to you. It's quite cool. Let's go check it out. Yes, I'm going to test it out on my phone so you don't have to. So I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing for you so you can really see what this comes with. The first thing to note is that, for the company at least, it says high quality IPX8 assurance certif certificate. It really should say what depth because this is, you don't know, it needs to be specified by, by the manufacturer. Again, it's about six feet, so it's about shallow diving or taking it into continuous immersion in the water. As long as you don't go too deep, if that is exactly what this is perfect for. So in the packaging, you get this nifty little envelope. It gives you the instructions as to how to install them. I will do that for you. You get two skins. You get four sealing tapes to put on the whole area here to keep it completely watertight. And then you also get these litmus testers to make sure that there are indeed no leaks or issues with the skin itself. Although I hope it doesn't ever come to that point. The thing to note with these skins is that they are completely waterproof for up to two times, meaning that you don't want to use them any more than two times for them to be completely waterproof. The reason is that after you continuously stretch them over your phone, you can see that there's a bit of deformity there. This one hasn't been used yet, as you can see that, so it gets a little bit stretched out. That makes it hard for your sealing tapes to completely lock out any water. So keep that in mind, but still, they'll be good for resistance for water, splashes here and there. They will, it'll still also be good to take it out in the dirt or wherever. So these are fully protective for several different reasons, but two times for each of them if you're going to submerse them entirely. So they say these are waterproof. How do they exactly propose that that is so? Well, I'm gonna flip it in inside out for you so you can really see this. What they've done is it is essentially two pieces put together. It's like a plastic and then a more stretchy rubbery piece and they've pinched the seams. It has seams that have been melted entirely together. It is like this all the way around and then they have flipped it inside out so it is seamless. It also has this piece on here that is glued watertight in place. So there should be no issues. This is indeed very waterproof if you get those sealing tapes on there correctly. So let's go ahead and install that for you so you can see how to do it. So here is a brand new skin that I'm going to show you. You want to install it with this piece up near the camera so that when you go ahead and put the sealing tapes on there is no raised or uneven areas that makes sure that it is applied correctly. You can see you just slip it on like so. Make sure that it's on tight. You can see here's the camera and the flash it's sitting there nicely. Make sure it fits tight in all areas. I can make so many bad jokes with these but I'm not going to. So you take it and you pull it over and then you go and you take the other side and you stretch it over. Don't worry about it ripping or anything like that. Just don't delay and pull it right over. So you can see that it leaves this opening. It's starting to stretch a tad bit there, but it's not bad at all. Let's get grab one of our litmus testers. If there's any moisture inside here, it'll turn red. Now make sure to put it in a place that is away from the sealing tape. Otherwise you're gonna defeat the purpose. So right there works. That works fine. And now let's grab our sealing tape. Brand new one as well. Start from the bottom or whatever you want to do. Make sure it's even. And start pressing downward. 
like so. Now, this is nice because this is actually makes a double seal. Once you have it on here correctly, you need to make sure that you've got the sticky part on the phone also laid down correctly and evenly so that it does create that double seal. So here we are. It looks nice. It looks like it's all sealed off and ready to go. You've got your litmus tester out of the way of the tape here. There it is. You can't really see that it's on really, can you? It looks very, very nice. Of course you can't charge it while it's on here, so make sure that if you want to use your phone all day with this in it, that it has a full charge. It does work with cases. I said that it can work with any case that you have. Of course, if you have a super rigid case, it may not work, but for these TPU thermoplastic polyurethane cases, it works really nice. You can just shove it in there, have your skin on there, and still be able to carry it about with the skin on. That works quite well. What's cool is that the clarity of your screen is still pretty well preserved even with this skin on. So no issues with responsiveness and really no issues with clarity either. That's pretty awesome. We are going to test out call quality now with this skin on. So I'm going to call myself from this T-Mobile phone here and put it on speaker and leave this one here so you can all hear really what's happening. Call answered. And I'll put this on speaker. I'll be back to show you. I am on the phone. Hello, everybody. I am testing from the other room. Can you hear it fine? Hello? Anybody? Nobody? All right. Let's see how it is. So the call quality was so-so with the skin on. I'd probably just use a Bluetooth headset. Now for the fun part, let's go drop it in the sink. Dum -da -dum -de 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 so here we are, and you can see that the winter skin definitely is on here. Your the litmus is in place. Everything looks like it's squared and ready to go. So let's do the very first test, which is going to be the water resistance test. Uh, uh, na -na -na -na. Yeah, let's, let's uh, put it in all those areas that you would not want water to be on. Inside your headphone jack. Yeah, how about inside here as well? Yeah, this would not be good for it otherwise. Screen still turns on. No issues. Let's do something just a bit more daring now. And now, the moment that you have been waiting for, for full submersion, you can see that the skin, it's on here still, obviously. The litmus paper has been untouched, it has not gotten any moisture on it at all, it is completely sealed in here, so let's turn the screen on, and you can see what happens. And there it is, it is now under the water, ah, my phone is under the water, can you believe that? So the first thing I noticed is that the capacitive touchscreen no longer works when it's underwater. The water actually interacts with the capacitive touchscreen and makes it so that both the screen and the buttons do not respond. It's like that with pretty much all waterproof cases. But as soon as you pull the phone out of water, I'm going to dry it off a bit, you shouldn't be having any issues with the screen. See? Still works just fine. So you can use the camera still underwater. You just want to be un just above water before you dive. So remember, this is, can be only used for about down to six feet. You don't want to be going any, any further than that. I don't know what the water pressure will do to the phone, A, or if there will be any problems with the leaks after that. That would be B. So let's actually show you how this works. I'm going to film myself for a short second and then dunk it underwater. Here is proof we are about to dunk it and film at the same time. So, empty. All right, we are now underwater, staring at my lovely drain. So I think that this should work fairly well if you want to use this for very shallow diving or snorkeling to see little fishies under the water. It's actually doing pretty well with the focus. It's not too bad. So I would say you can use this for, for diving if you want to use it for long, luxurious baths. If you're just going to be running along the shore of the beach and you want to make sure that nothing's going to happen to your phone, I think that this is absolutely the perfect product for that. Now keep in mind that 
to keep these completely watertight, it will each of these skins works for about two times because at that point they start to stretch a bit. But you still can use it for water resistance, just say in the rain, or you can still use it if you're going to go on a nature walk and it's really super dirty and you don't want to get any debris or anything anywhere in the ports on your phone. This works perfect for that. So there, this does have multiple uses rather than just being completely waterproof. It's awesome that you can put this inside a case as long as it's not extremely rigid. I mean, silicone TPU cases work just fine. I put it in the Sadio Active case and had no problem with that at all. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Ah, I do have one other thing that I would use this for. It's actually as a party trick. Can you imagine? You take your friend's phone. You happen to know beforehand what phone they have. You put it on here and you drop it in an ice bucket at a party that has the drinks in it. That would be so that'd be hilarious, but so awful. Do not take any ideas back from me. You did not hear it here, but I just think that would be hilarious. So I'm going to add a link. I think you can get these off eBay. I don't think that Gullivan has a specific web website to purchase these from, but these are really awesome and they get my seal of approval. No pun intended. So this has been the Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, which is at I am Erica. And also follow me on Google Plus. I will put a link down here. Thank you so much for watching me almost ruin my phone. Well, actually not. This is a very sturdy, solid product and I do recommend it. So awesome. Thank you for watching. Bye.